Part of the reason that I came to work on nuclear energy was that I wanted to make sure that what I was working on really empowered people. And producing carbon-free energy does just that. It gives us the power to do the things we want to do every day. Whether it's the goals of the Paris Agreement or individual countries, provinces or states or even private companies, everybody is getting carbon goals out there. And our team has been able to model out what it would take to get you to deep decarbonization. You can certainly go quite a long way with renewables, wind and solar, but you can't get across the finish line. You've got to be able to bring uh, dispatchable nuclear energy and small modular reactors in the BWR X300 fits that bill perfectly. Everybody in my family is an engineer, uh, and my dad worked in the nuclear field, and I've always worked at a nuclear power plant. So when I'm talking to other parents sitting on the bleachers watching my son play soccer, and they say, where do you work? Well, I work at a nuclear power plant. Oh my God, you know, what, what's that about? Great opportunity to say, it's not scary. This is gonna help the environment. You have constant, supply of energy all the time and I can make sure if the sun isn't shining I can still have power to do the things that I need to do and it's carbon free. My name is Trista Dahlgren. I'm the principal designer of the BWRX 300. We're basically taking the known building pieces from the nuclear industry today. We're applying them, let's say, like a Lego kit. So the pieces themselves already exist. They're basically building blocks that have been pre-designed. You're not building them in the field. They're, they're coming to the site already built and pre-tested. Uh, so nothing in this plant is really brand new for this application. The application is new, but the component that we're using is not new. Small modular reactors. The word modular refers in large part to the, the construction technique and the approach that these are more of an installation as opposed to a construction project. So trying to avoid what we have seen historically where you have long drawn out construction periods during which time the owner is investing in all of that capital to build that particular plant. With a small modular reactor, you have not only an overall smaller cost, the reactor, in this case the SMR, is up online and producing electricity much faster. We're leveraging the fuel that we already sell to plants all over the world. Fuel, in my opinion, is the most important enabler to bringing a reactor tech, a new reactor technology to market very rapidly. I'm sitting in the control room of our fuel fabrication facility. The fuel that's gonna be used in the BWR X300 is called GNF2 fuel. It has operated in 75% of the boiling water reactor fleet globally. We've manufactured over 20,000 of these fuel assemblies in this facility. The reason that's important is based on our experience. We've been designing and licensing new fuel for decades. It takes 10 years to both design and license and deploy a new fuel type. It took GNF2 10 years. It took our most recent design 10 years. And so if we're serious about meeting decarbonization goals, then we have to start deploying new reactor technology quickly. And the way to do that is deploying technology that, that utilizes proven and existing fuel types. So this is a model of one of our nuclear fuel bundles. Inside uh, each rod, you can see this cutaway has uranium fuel pellets about the size of your little finger. Each pellet has the equivalent energy of one ton of coal. So if you think about the energy in a given fuel bundle and a nuclear reactor, the amount of energy is just tremendous. Exelon operates 21 reactors. 14 of those reactors are general electric reactors. So in addition to selling the original plant, over the years GE provides also fuels and services. So that reliability and 
comfort associated with that supply chain is certainly a very critical factor. Estonia is part of the European Union, which has uh, adopted legally binding policy goal of achieving carbon neutrality. Small modular reactors, I believe, will be most important part of the solution, especially in uh, northern uh, European and American settings where uh, solar and hydropower is limited. In case of Poland, we have to decommission about 200 qualified boilers. So we're talking about 40 gigawatts of energy, which have to be replaced with something. And we would like to replace this with the zero emission energy. Over 60% of electricity generation in the province of Ontario comes from nuclear. My family home is in Pickering, which is honestly a stone's throw from the Pickering nuclear plant. And I grew up, I grew up with nuclear power, so much so that when I was at university, my first university summer job was at the Pickering nuclear power plant. And, and I share that because we're comfortable with it. We're good at it. And this is an opportunity for us to, to build on it and be a global leader in this technology that will be so vital, not just for Canada's energy transition goals, but, but for, the, for the globe. This design is really an ideal balance of breakthrough innovation coupled with proven technology. We have high confidence that on day one it's going to operate at a above a 90% capacity factor. I actually have gone back to Princeton to talk to students about the option of being part of the nuclear energy field. And what I tell them is that it's a really exciting place to be because we are developing new technologies, we're developing new small modular reactors, we're going to be deploying them over the next few years, and it's really going to make an impact on the world. In the future, it's going to power our cars. It's going to power the work that we do, all of the great AI and computers that are going to be invented. They all need that electricity. So this is a great way to have a big impact. So with these very challenging decarbonization goals, whether it's 2050 or 2035, it's an imperative that we start now. And we're able to do that. We have our design in a position such that we can bring this on the grid by 2028. 